Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a uh, share face to improve a fillet in FreeCut. In the left is the default fillet and in the right is the manual fillet using share face with a G2 continuity. Okay, so I start with a new uh, MT5 and in the product workbench I will create a new sketch on the top view. And let me create a, a rectangle on top, uh, touching the red line, and selecting this line and hit D and set the distance to 40. And the length of this one, let's try 80. I select in uh, these uh, two points and the center line and hit S for symmetry constraint. You can see the sketch is fully constrained. Now I can close. Let me go up to the view and toggle the axis cross to show the arrow. Uh, I select in this sketch and go to its true. Let's uh, click on the Z axis and uh, negative one for the Z axis. And the length in here is 10. I click OK. Uh, I create in a new sketch in the right view. Uh, I view the section. I will reference this line over here. Uh, I will create a polyline, something like this. And uh, make sure this line has uh, the vertical constraint on it, and this line has the horizontal constraint. Now I will select in this point and the center point, and hit C to snap it together. Doing the same in here, selecting this point and this point, hit C. Uh, I hit D and set the angle to 30, de 30 degree. I close. Now I select in this sketch and go to is true. Let's try uh, 20. And click on the S axis, negative one for that, and click OK. Now I will control select uh, this true and go to uh, union. And we have a new fusion. I click on the fusion and the refine option. I set it to true. The next step is I want to do in a fillet and this edge. So I select these two edges and I go to the fillet and the radius I set it to 10 and I click OK. And you can see this is the result of uh, the fillet in the default setting. And if you look from the top view, Actually, uh, the default setting is pretty good in here, but uh, the blending, the blending between this flat surface, this flat surface, and uh, this fillet is a straight line from here to here, and also a straight line from here to here. And I want to improve the fillet by cutting from this point to about here, straight to here, and this point straight to here. And I want to fill the surface in between uh, using the filling tool with the G2, the G2 continuity. In here, the G2 continuity also in here. So let me rename this one to uh, Oh, fill that uh, default, and I go to uh, transform, and you can type in here a number. Uh, in this case, twenty, and I move this one to the left a little bit, to about here because I will use this one to compare 
to compare with my new uh my new result in the future so i click ok let me hide the uh, old fillet and drop this one down and show the fusion for this fusion uh let me rename this one to um, original the next step is i want to downgrade this original down to multiple faces and i only want to work with these uh, three surfaces on top so i go to the drug workbench in the drug workbench uh, instead of uh, working directly on this original I click on the original and creating a new clone, a new copy of this uh, one. Click on it. And I hide the original and we have a clone in here. I select in the clone and click on the downgrade or you can use the hotkey DNN. And in here we have multiple faces. I can just select these three surfaces and click on the upgrade now we have a big surface as you can see the next step uh, let me create in a group I go to creating a new group and select all of these faces and put that into the group okay uh, next I will cut I will cut uh, this uh, corner from here to here to remove this corner and also I, I want to cut in here this corner to uh, remove this area and then I will use the blank curve to blend in between and fill in the surface fill in the gap later I go to the product bench. I will create in a two sweep and I will use the shoe sweep to cut uh, the, uh, the the surface, the big surface up here. So I will start from here. I will create in a profile before I want to sweep. So I can just select in this, uh, let's try to select in this line. It's a little bit hard to select. Let me hide one of these face in here. Okay. And select in this line. And then this point. And creating a new sketch. And I will choose no more to edge. And I click OK. And I create in a circle right in the center. And select in, uh, select in the circle and hit D and set the diameter to 20 because the radius of the fillet is 10 so the diameter will be 20 I close doing the same up here I can draw selecting this line and this point and creating a sketch based on the uh, normal to edge and creating a circle and set the diameter to 20 close now I go to the sweep. Uh, let's go to the sweep and uh, double click on the sketch 002 and I click on the sweep part and I click on this line over here and click done and OK. And you can see uh, we have a new sweep, but this one is empty. So I click on the sweep and let's go down to the solid option. Set this one to true. OK doing the same up here uh, click on the sweep and double click on the sketch 003 click on the sweep part click on this line and done and click on this create solid and okay now i will uh select in the cell and the sweep and i just simply cut it okay doing the same selecting the cut and the sweep and cut it now we have something like this 
I will control select uh, these two circles and hit spacebar to hide. The next step is I will create a blank curve to connect uh, in between. I go to the surface workbench and control selecting this edge and then this edge and click on the blank curve. I click on the blank curve and the first thing you need to do when you use, when you use the blank curve is you set the start size to zero and the end size to zero to turn this blank curve into a straight line. And then you slowly increase the star sign to 1. You can see 1 is not good, so I go to negative 1. And the end sign, let's set this one to 1. Okay, and the star, the star continuity is 2. And the end continuity also 2. Doing the same down here. Control selecting this edge and then this edge. And creating a blank curve. Selecting this blank curve and zero out the star size and the end size. And because I select this edge first, so you can see the uh, the blank curve have the incorrect location in here. So I will care about the first edge property. So I go to the first edge property and the star parameter and I set this one to 1 you can see now the blank curve jump into the correct uh, position now I increase the star size to 1 okay 1 is good the, and the end size is 1 1 also good now we uh, will jump into uh, the part workbench and starting to sweep again also click on the sweep and double click on the first plane curve which is this one and I click on the sweep part and I click on this line over here click on done and okay you can see a new uh, surface generated doing the same in here click on the sweep part and double click on the Blank curve zero zero two. Click on the sweep part and click on this line for the part done. Okay. Now I will combine these two together by control selecting these two sweep. Go to the part compound and make compound. The next step is I want to remove. Uh, the right side of these two surfaces. I go to uh, creating a new sketch on the, the right view and creating a rectangle. Uh, I will reference this line over here and selecting this point and this line and hit C to snap it together and I close. Next, I select in this sketch and go to is true. Let's try uh, 40. Symmetric. Okay. Now I can draw select in the compound and the is true and it's just simply cut it. Now, now you can see we have a nice clean uh, surface filling in between these two gaps. Now uh, I will. Uh, connect from this point to this point. So I go to the curve workbench. In the curve workbench, I just simply control selecting this point and this point and click on the line tool to create a new line. Now if you jump into the surface workbench and if you click on the filling tool and start into fill, if I move my mouse over here, you can see this one is a big edge. So we cannot generate the surface using this big edge. So we need a short edge from, from here, from this point to here. Okay, so 
I will go out and go to the product workbench. In the product workbench, you can see if I click on this one and I show it and hide it, you can see this one is the cut 001 and this one is the cut 002. Uh, I will control selecting the cut 001 and then the cut 002 for the cutter and I go to the product split and then slide to compile and then and then if I move my mouse over here you can see we have a short edge now I will drop the slide down and show the cut 002 and we're ready to fill the surface in between I will go to the surface workbench again and click on the filling tool and just simply select in sequence Okay, now I double click on this edge 9 and I choose the face and the G2 continuity. You can see the live one have no option. So because we don't have any neighbor face to this big face, so it's fine. So I click OK. If you zoom close here, uh, you can see this surface have a little small bump in here. So if you want to improve the surface, you can click on this one and go to the data and you can play in around with the poison curve. Let's try uh, 20 for the poison curve 30 and you can see 30 break the surface and let's try 40 50 okay now I go to the product workbench and hit ship B and select everything and his spy bar to hide everything. I only want to show the slide, the cut 002 and the surface. And also show all of these faces up here. Oh, you can see uh, this file right here, uh, not good. So I need to improve this area. So I just simply delete in the phase 007, deleting it. And let me go back to the surface workbench. And just using the filling tool and filling this phase. Okay. It should be and select everything and go to the curve workbench and click on parametric solid okay now you can see this is the final result and if i show the all field that you can compare and see the difference between the default setting and the new field and i can show the shed view so hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in the next video